Hey buddy, it's John with Upstate Brush Control. We're up here near Cowpens, South Carolina. Uh, pretty cool area. They got the Cowpens Battlefield. Uh, we're five minutes from it, not even that, but pretty cool area. Um, but anyway, so what we got here, we got about an acre and a half, somewhere in that range of forest emulsion we're gonna be doing. Um, we already got rolling here. This is kind of the edge of the field. There's a line going right across through here. Willie's on that edge. It's almost to the back corner, then it kind of peels off hard that way. And then all this will come out through there. So uh, Josh and Mike are doing trimming. <coughs> And me and Willie are roughing out and getting it opened up to where they can uh, get in here and do the hand work. <clears throat> Customer wants to, uh, this stuff like this right here, these big dead ones, he wants those out. So we're going to push those over or uh, knock them down or cut them out, whatever. And he wants, there is still good firewood in some of that. Um, he wants some of the firewood out of the bigger stuff. So, yeah, that's kind of what we got today. Should be a good uh, little job. Got an old, old house back here we're going to be working around. And um, customer went through and marked off things he wanted to save and not save and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're just going to keep pushing our way back. <clears throat> How's it going, Micah? Got that saw nice and sharp. I tried. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. All right. How's the back? How's the back? Oh, well, you know, it's doing a lot better. It's not hurting all the time, though. <laughs> well, good. Oh, man. How's it going? Pretty good. One more game with Donuts and Coffee. He's uh, pretty great. Nice guy. Oh, yeah. That's a first for sure. <clears throat> so, like that right there, we'll just push it over. This white oak? Yeah, we can leave it. Nice little tree. So, like that, we'll push over and that's what he wants for firewood, that kind of stuff. And then like this chunks right here. I push some of that, that big stuff over. We'll get him a couple piles.
this is kind of the edge of it here. We got a uh, bunch of wire and stuff the customer found. So he caution takes it off for us. But uh, that's that's the edge of his property line there. It's a big old ditch. Kind of goes off this way. <clears throat> so what we do, what we usually do, uh, where we have both machines on the job like this, is Willie will go through and he'll rough out. He's not looking to finish. Uh, he's more about just production, getting material down and cut, and not worrying about finishing, nothing like that. He's he's going for. He's going for speed, making time. And then I'm coming back through and getting the chunks and making sure stuff is, is cut flush and uh, something he didn't miss. So right now he is just going in one direction. He's going back and forth this way. And then he's going to push this way and then he'll probably turn and go this way over here. Um, it's just the fastest way to go. You don't want to go turn around, come back. None of that stuff, just one direction little bits at a time and um keeps material off the machine and stuff like that so <clears throat> he's gonna go through and just keep roughing it out is what we call it and then i'm gonna come back through with this machine as the guys uh trim stuff limb stuff get stuff to uh pulled out away from the trees i mean you can you can see they already got stuff up here done so as soon as I get a little section done, they'll go through with the excavator, pull it off in areas, and then I'll grind it up. And that way this area will be finished. Um, it's about the middle of April right now, and we're already seeing dust. Uh, so usually what happens a lot of time in, with forest emulsion is you get to a point like in the middle of summer and stuff, it starts getting really hot, starts getting really dusty, and it's hard to see it's hard on uh, you know everything on the equipment the filters the ac everything gets starts getting uh clogged up with dust you got to blow it off a couple times a day so we have found that if you go through and you finish it off as you go we used to do like we would rough out a whole entire job and then we'd go back through say it'd take one day to rough everything out we come back through another day and then we'd finish it off the next day this we're going to finish it off as we're going so next i'd say 15 20 minutes here i'm going to start finishing this this will be completely done for the job and i'll start working my way around and following willie give you a little play by play what's going on so
right, so we are making our way. Um, it's been about an hour, and uh, I got this area all finished off up to like right here. And the guys are over here still pulling stuff out, making their way back. And Willie is just going to town over here. This is kind of like where he stopped, like right in here. And he's got all this opened up. There's a property line right over there. And uh, he is making his way oh, all the way through the other side. So we are getting it done. Josh got a couple uh, old dead stuff over here we're going to cut out. So, yeah, we're getting it.
All right, so uh, customer wants a lot of this. There's some old kind of rotten dead cherry trees that were down this area right here. Josh got those cut out. I just finished up the back right corner. Gonna start working my way up this way. Uh, the customer is all excited about firewood. I think he's gonna have firewood for a long time. So we're moving that up to the field for him. Um, we're gonna need to get those cut back. Um, Mike is over here trimming out with the uh, pole saw. Josh is kind of helping him get it grubbed out. Little poplar tree right there. Let's see how uh, Willie's looking over here. Pretty cool uh, building here. Don't know if it's going to be salvageable. So we got to get get these bigger trees cut out away from here. Um. Yeah, it's, this ain't pretty rough. So I know, like, he wants this stuff out of the way here, so we can. Uh, <clears throat> he wants to he wants to try to leave it but say he's got trees marked up around here for us to cut out I don't recall those these two big ones right here but we'll figure it out yeah Willie's got all this grubbed out all the way up to the edge of the field right there so good deal This thing is rough, man. Ooh. All right, that's the front door. this stuff cleaned up around here around the uh old barn house whatever it is and uh just kind of up here to the top edge gonna work our way across over that way to, towards our uh log pile up there so just kind of put you up here for a few minutes and a lot of vines had to be pulled down and stuff like that it's a uh a lot of saw briars up in these trees. Alrighty, there we go. Just got her finished up. All the way back down. This is right where I started. We came in right here. And uh and we went out. 
we went straight down this way and then we pushed over and kind of came up around and finished like that but uh yeah you wouldn't even know it was the same piece of property it turned out really nice the customers very happy we got all this done back over here in this corner that was a little bit of a struggle uh there's a ditch right through there so it was a little difficult and then there was a bunch of wire and trash we had to get out so off the get-go is slowed us up a little bit but uh josh and willie are hitting uh stuff with weed eaters here some of this little grass and junk like that that we can't get with the cutter head um, yeah it's a few minutes after five and uh we're all tired and ready to go home so mike has got everything strapping down over here I'm gonna help him get this stuff strapped down real quick but here's the old cabin house whatever you want to call it spooky over here on this side but yeah there's the the customer wanted he's gonna keep this brush uh something about building fires or something like that he wanted this brush left here on the edge for and he's got a bunch we got him enough uh, firewood to last him a long time up there, but yeah, buddy got a uh, Ruby. I think we'll go with Ruby and uh, load it up here. <clears throat> and we are gonna hit the road. So, thanks for watching the video, y'all. We really appreciate it. Be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, leave a comment below, and uh, we'll catch you. On the next one, that's a very perfect call. I'll catch on the next one, but thanks for watching. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs>